Hi, this is Pam, Flower Patch Farmhouse, and we're back in the greenhouse. Today we're going to work on part two of our rose propagation to grow and root roses from cuttings. The first part, I showed you one way I like to do it, and I'm going to show you another that is just as simple. What's great about this one is you can actually put the containers on your windowsill. In, you know, like this is um, early fall. Yesterday was the first day of fall, and it's going to turn unseasonably cold next week here. It's going to drop down to almost freezing. So this method where I could put it on a windowsill in my kitchen or wherever I want to in the house will control the temperatures more. And um, maybe it will help promote it to root better because it's going to be warmer. All right, let's get started. I'm going to zoom in on my table so you can see what I'm doing and we're going to get to rooting them cuttings. Here we are and this is the container. Pretty fancy. Ignore the chainsaws if you can hear them. They're taking down dead trees in the neighborhood. Um, this is actually a Vinte Frappuccino cup. My husband enjoys having one of those expensive coffees every now and then. Um, and I like to recycle the containers to start my roses in. Now I have poked holes in the bottom for drainage and I had washed it well. This is, I had to take some out so I could show you this because that's the only one I had. My husband needs to go get him some fancy coffee. And I'm going to fill this with my medium, excuse my arm, my soil is too left of the camera but anyways I'm just going to put some in here this one has a little bit more compost in it than the last one did and that's okay there's no real formula that says you can't have more compost so I'm kind of banging it down to make sure there's not too many air pockets in there and when you water it it will also take some of them down now I can water it a little bit. So I put it in here only because I don't want to get water all over my table. And I water it in. That helps air pockets kind of settle down. Excuse me, I have to answer my phone. So here it is. I've watered it in. I've kind of banged down and tamped down for to get rid of some of the air pockets. So here is my victim or my rose for today. This is a climbing iceberg. And I'm just removing the leaves. And we'll scrap those over there for now. And I need a piece that will fit in here. And I can still put the lid on. So I could cut this right here. And why is this a really good spot? as well because there's a juncture there and in the previous video I should I shared with you why having that juncture is a good thing so this one is ready I'm going to put it in to the water for the moment and then I'm going to this side looks a little thinner than this one I could actually propagate both of them so I'm going to cut off the real spindly top part, remove the leaves. Sorry if I got out of the camera there. Looks like something ate on it right there. I can cut that off if I want, but I think I'll leave it. It's not going to hurt anything. And it does help sometimes to keep the leaves on it and then you know which one's the top, but I usually know because of these um, leaf nodes, they point upwards. And our last one. Now that on the last video I showed you that this um, juncture, many times it has been claimed, and I don't know that this is true, but I've always had success with rooting them. Um, those junctures will actually send out roots faster. So it's a good time to test it for me. I'm just going to put this one variety in here and then um, we'll see which one roots faster. So let me de-leaf it. Except for the very top. Now again, I want to cut it to size so it will fit in there. 
I think right there. Now if I cut it a little lower, that piece is actually long enough I can root it too. Now it's smaller around, so it might not be the best, but it doesn't hurt to try. Try, try again. Alrighty. We'll toss the leaves over here out of the way. And we will proceed to... And there's no thorns on this one. So, that is, you don't, you can't wound it that way. So, we'll go ahead and try the smash trick. Let me get something to smash it with. Oh, let me see. I've got this handle here. So, I'm going to smash it. And also these leaf areas, those also are where roots can emerge. So here I'm going to dip it. I have a paintbrush around here somewhere, but I've lost it. So you can just roll it around in there and get it covered well. I'm going to, I've got it on my hand there. I usually like the paintbrush because I'm not real fond of getting it on my hand. But here, let me just kind of sprinkle some. Excuse my chicken. She's doing her job. Getting that in there. And then I'm just going to poke it down into the cup. And I'm going to make a hole so it doesn't rub off all the rooting hormone. And I want it down there deep because I want as much of those limbs down underneath. Same here. This one has a few little thorns at this section. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those off. And I might wound it just a little bit more. And then again, rooting hormone. Now, I'm pretty much going to do all of them this way. Making sure I get plenty of rooting hormone all over it. I know, I'm getting crazy with it here because I'm too lazy to go look for my paintbrush. And down in there we go. Now I try to get these up against the sides or close to the sides because that way when they root, I can see the roots through this. And it will um, let me know. I don't have to pull them up to check them. Whereas if I had potted them up in something that is solid, I would not have that option. So let's go ahead and So I went out to the garden. Let me see if my sound's working. My battery's getting low. Went out to the garden. I grabbed a few more. I figured a few more could fit in here. This is a different variety. And I found my paintbrush. So I'm going to go ahead and use this that fell off to the on the table. And I'm going to paint it on there. going to go in pretty deep so I'm going to get all of these spots well covered and I'm going to stick it down in here. Now you could do quite a few in this one small container. Don't worry about the um, roots tangling because um, you just put the whole thing in water and then they just gently pull them apart. It's not a big deal if they get too, too rooted and then start to intertwine. They will untwine quite easily. Alrighty. These ones I did not wound by scraping. I just pulled off the thorns because it was a very thorny one. And one more and then we're done with these. bother with that one. Okay. 
Now, I put the lid on just like this. And if any are too tall, I kind of lean them towards the center hole and it seals. And that will maintain the moisture inside and let them have the humidity they need to stay green while the roots put out. And now I'm going to put the name of the roses on here. I'm just going to write it. It's a little wet, so I might not write. I could put it on the lid. So this is, what did I say it was? Climbing Iceberg. Okay. Now the other variety I wrote right on the cane so I could tell them apart, even though I would be able to tell them apart by their um, thorniness. So this is going to go on my kitchen windowsill and give it time to root. My kitchen windowsill gets um, great bright light and this time of year it even if the sun hits on that window, it, it won't cook it. Uh, if it was a hotter time of year, it would cook it. Now, with a clear container, you will sometimes get the green algae growing in there. That's not a big deal, but if you want to prevent that, wrap this with foil or something that keeps it dark. It's the light that lets it turn green. And that is my second way of propagating rose cuttings fast and easy. It's um, super simple and anyone can do it. You don't even have to have a greenhouse. My others I keep in the greenhouse. This one will go in the house. So that is the second way you can root roses fast and easy from cuttings and you can grow them on. Please, if you could give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to my channel and or leave me a comment of what you thought of this method of propagating roses from cuttings.